And now, once again, let's go backstage In to Brandenburg Bruce Adolf. In Brandenburg Concerto number three, Bach writes for three groups of solo instruments, and each of the groups has three musicians in it, three violins, three violas, and three cellos. So the number three looms large in number three. And the three groups play in very close harmony, kind of like the Andrews sisters. Sometimes I think that Bach was considering not only the sound of this music, but the look of it, because the way the themes are passed rapidly around from player to player, because they function not only as teams, but as individuals, it's practically choreographed and it's stunning to watch. As the first movement comes to an end, you hear this. And then Bach wrote the shortest movement ever composed. It's just two chords. This is all he wrote. And sometimes there's a little um, improvisation that can happen there in the harpsichord, perhaps. Something like that. It could be in the violin instead. Who knows? We don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure if it's going to be the harpsichord or the violin. When that's over, we suddenly find ourselves in the third movement. Just crashing right into it. One of my favorite moments in the third movement is a tiny, charming little motif that you hear in the first violin, and then you hear it in the viola, and it has a little extra rhythmic kick in it. It's that that you hear nowhere else. Well, this is a high, high energy piece, one of the fastest and most exciting of them all. Remember the number three, three violins, three violas, three cellos, and Brandenburg, number three. <laughs> 